Today we're going to look at customizing the context menu of the RAD Rich Textbox control. RAD Rich Textbox is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we will explore the context menu built into the RAD Rich Textbox and add an extra command the user can select. Let's go ahead and dive into Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're working on the same project that we've been working on in all parts of the series. So let's just go ahead and run it and see what we have right now. So if I run this application and we do a right click, then we'll see that we have a couple of things that pop up. Of course, this is very similar to Microsoft Word. We have our cut, copy, paste, hyperlink, um, maybe changing the font and the paragraph. So what we want to actually do here today is we want to add another item to this and this item is going to change a cell to a color of maybe yellow. So let's go ahead and let's look and see how you would actually do that. So let's go ahead and close out of our browser and we're so switching to our code behind underneath the initialize component I'm going to begin type in context menu context menu equals context menu and then we're just going to cast that to a this dot rad rich text box dot context menu so now that that's in place I want to do a context menu dot showing event under our showing event we're going to add just a tiny bit of code here so what we're going to add is we're going to first we're going to check the context if the carrot's inside of a table, then we're going to add our item. So we'll just do if this dot radrich text box dot document dot carrot position dot is position inside table. Then we're going to run this code. And that's going to be a rad menu item. And we'll just name this make cell yellow menu item equals new rad menu item and we'll give the header the name of make cell yellow and then we will do a make cell yellow menu item dot click and of course that creates this method and inside this method I'm just going to give it a table cell and we'll just name this current cell equals this dot radrich text box dot document caret position dot get current table cell box and we're going to want the associated table cell. And we're just going to need to add the current cell dot background equals to a colors dot yellow. And then finally the this dot radrich text box dot update editor layout. So we'll go back to the method that we were just in, the context menu dot showing and we'll drop in the context menu group and inside of the group that we just created we're going to add the make cell yellow menu item and then we're just going to add that to the e dot context menu group collection so now that we've done that we actually need to come back here and fix this real quick so this is actually going to be an update editor layout so now if we run this application we will see that if we right click here uh, we don't see that menu item we come back into a cell we right click we see that now we can make cell yellow so if I click it the background has just changed yellow so you can see just how easy it is to actually add your own custom context menus so again I want to thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.